And now, let's begin with the video. And this is the first braid that I'm going to be showing you today. I'm gonna start off by taking a little section of hair from the top of my head and put it into a little ponytail. I'm taking a small elastic hair tie and securing that ponytail. Then I open a space above the tie and pass the ponytail through that space. Now, as you can see, I'm pulling on the hair and stretching it out just so the twist looks fuller at the end. Keep stretching until you got what you want. Now I'm taking two more sections from the sides and putting them in another small ponytail in the back of my head and securing them with an elastic hair tie. Now as you can see I'm doing the same exact thing as I did with the previous ponytail, so basically I'm twisting it. And once you got your second twisted ponytail, make sure you stretch it out. And now it's time for the fishtail braid! And for this beautiful braid, I take the second small ponytail and divide it into two equal parts. I'm going to pick up a section from any of the sides and transfer it to the other side. And repeat that over and over again until I reach the bottom. I know, this looks really really hard to do. But trust me, the more you practice braiding a fishtail braid, the better and faster you'll become at it. And again, pick up a section from the side and transfer it to the other side. And do the same thing from the other side. Pick up a section and put it to the other side. So it creates that beautiful braid. So here, I already reached the bottom. So now I'm going to start by stretching that braid out and making it flowy and really, really beautiful. Oh my god, I just realized I came too close to the camera, but you can see that I'm stretching out the braid as much as I can and tying it at the bottom. And this is the end result. It took me about 5-6 minutes to do, but look how beautiful it looks. Okay, and now I'm going to show you how to do the waterfall braid. So here I start by parting my hair in the middle. I took a little section from the top of my head and sectioned it into three parts to start braiding. After I pull the top strand into the middle, I take a new strand from the top of my head and put it into the middle as well. Then I release the bottom strand and pick up a new bottom strand as you can see in the video. And right after that, I repeat the same exact steps over and over again. After I braid till the back of my head, I quickly do the other side and put the two waterfall braids into a ponytail. And ta-da! This is the end! Look at how beautiful this braid is! Okay, so this is a simple French braid. With this simple braid, I just take a small section of my hair from the top of my head and divide it into three equal parts to start braiding. So as you can see, as I'm putting the left strand into the middle, I take a new strand from that side and put it into the middle as well and do the same thing from the right side and take a new strand, put it into the middle with the right strand and do the same thing again on the left side. I French braid till I reach the half of my head and then I continue braiding a simple braid till I reach the bottom. I finish the look by securing the braid with a hair tie and then pulling some baby hairs from the front to make the look messier and cuter. To make the braid look fuller and messier and even cuter, I stretch out the whole braid and oh my gosh, look at the finished result. And of course we're going to be doing some Dutch braiding in this video. So I divided my hair into two equal parts. Now I take a small section from the top of my head and divide it into three equal parts and start Dutch braiding. As you can see, as I'm putting the top strand to the middle, I take a new strand from the top and add it to that strand and do the same thing from the bottom. So now I'm going to be braiding this braid until I reach the top of my head. 
And now I'm gonna stretch out the braid to make it looking flowy, beautiful, and really, really pretty. I take the rest of the hair and pull it up to make a ponytail. Now as I'm done with this side, I'm gonna quickly do the other side and I'll be back. And I'm back! Oh my gosh, look at this hairstyle. I'm totally in love with this. Okay, so this is kind of similar to the previous look. I'm gonna start off the same way by just parting my hair in the middle and taking a small section from the top of my head and just starting a Dutch braid. To be honest, at this point, I'm pretty sure that most of you already know how to do Dutch braids. So I'm not gonna explain right now, you just gotta watch and see the end result. As you all probably have already noticed this a million times, I always stretch out my braids. I don't know what it is about me, but I love, love, love seeing stretched out braids. They just look so beautiful, so flowy. So, yeah. So now I try to put the rest of the hair into a bun and then I'm gonna quickly do the other side and then I'm done. Okay, so this hairstyle is probably the easiest hairstyle ever. So I'm gonna start off as usual by taking two sections of hair from the sides and tying them in the back of my head. Now I'm taking another little section from the side, pulling it to the back of my head, and then do what I do, look at it, and do what I do because I have no clue how to explain these steps. It was really quick and easy, so I'm gonna do the other side, the same exact thing, and then pull the two strands and tie them together. So this is the finished look. Oh my gosh, look, it's a little heart, so cute. This is probably my favorite hairstyle just because I love doing buns and also adding something to it. Okay, so I'm gonna bring my hair to the front and start Dutch braiding. Again, I know it probably looks hard Dutch braiding and keeping your head down, but trust me, this is probably the easiest way to Dutch braid. So I just realized that you can't really see how I'm Dutch braiding, that's why I made it in laps just so you can see when I start braiding it towards the middle of my head. Now as I reach the middle of my head, I'm just taking the rest of the hair and basically putting it in a bun. First, of course, I'm gonna put it in a ponytail and then I'm gonna quickly do a bun. I stretch it out just so the bun looks fuller and then I'm done. Trust me guys, if you do this once, you will be doing it all the time because it's so easy and so cute. Here goes our next look. This look is basically what I did with Dutch braids, but this one is way easier. Take a small section from the top of my head, divide it in two and start twisting it. As you can see, as I twist it once for the second time, I start adding hair from the bottom and just keep doing that till I reach the back of my head. So as I reach the bottom, I quickly put the hair into a bun, or you could actually put it in a pigtail, it's your choice. And then I'm quickly gonna do the other side, and I'm done! Look, it looks just like Dutch braids with buns, but it's way easier to do. Okay, so this I call a hairstyle for lazy people just like me. So here I'm just taking my hair away from my face just so I can start braiding. I take a small section of hair from the back of my ear and start braiding a plain, boring braid. I braid it till I reach the bottom of the hair and then I secure it with an elastic hair tie and then I quickly switch it to the other side. Okay, so here's another close up because I couldn't really see what I was doing. So here I'm showing you how I'm stretching out the second braid. Now I'm quickly going to put the two braids just like that and tie them in the back of my head. 
And no worries if your hair is a little shorter than mine because you can easily bobby pen it and forget it because it's gonna look the same exact way. Yay, see how easy this was? And here goes the last look of today. Yay, Dutch braids again! So I'm gonna quickly section off my hair from both of the sides and put the rest of the hair away. Again, you take a small section from the top of your head, but it, this time it's even smaller, and just start Dutch braiding. You know how to Dutch braid, I know how to Dutch braid, I don't have to explain it, so just look at it and start Dutch braiding. So now I'm quickly gonna do the rest of the braid, and then I'm gonna start stretching out. Again, with Dutch braids, I always stretch them out because they look even prettier when they're stretched out. After I secured my braid, I quickly did the other braid and as you can see, I tied them both in the back of my head and released the rest of my hair. And here's the last look. So these are all my favorite hairstyles for back to school. If you liked any of these hairstyles and want to use it for the future, make sure you take a picture and post it on your Instagram and also tag me so I can see that you used one of the hairstyles that you saw in this video and I'll for sure like it and comment on your picture. So today's video shout outs go to Caroline Williams, Kayla Bush 9, and Tanisha Brown 31. Big shout out to you guys. Thank you so much for subscribing and turning on the bell and following me on Instagram. I love you so much. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you want me to continue posting back to school videos, go to the comments and comment which exactly video you would like to see next. Remember that I love you so much and can't wait to see you later. Bye!